Okay, in this video, we're going to go through the uh, Presso Sports user management system uh, that clients can access on the back end of their websites to give other uh, users on their sites uh, access to certain things within the site, access to certain programs that you may have purchased, um, and also to adding new users, which you could do. Um, one thing you remember before we kind of get into this is to um, be registered uh, on your site as an administrator to do this. If you're not an administrator on the site, you can cannot uh, do pretty much everything that we're gonna we're gonna do in this video so if you're not an administrator you can't do pretty much any of this so to become an administrator on your site if you're not one now um, just contact the customer support team uh, and they can assign you the administrator at you as the administrator or as an administrator for your account so we're into the, the back end of Presto right now uh, on a website, and you can see here that um, we go all the way over to the right here, and there's an account button. So to get to the user manager area, we click this first. And then you would see in here you have this page. We don't worry about any of this. We just worry about the secondary bar here. And you can see here that all the way over to the right we have manage users. So this is where we would go into the user manager system. Um, this user has already been in this system before. Um, so the first time you log into this um, and get into this, you will see that there'll be a few prompts in there um, with help articles as to what to do throughout um, this and what it can do. And also to uh, pinpoint the new user area, which we'll show here in a second. Um, but that, is, that, that will pop up the first time you log into here. So don't be alarmed if that does happen. So you see in here, we have all of our users on the site. There's eight users on this site. Um, so let's say that you have um, a, a coach that comes on board and wants to uh, and needs access to certain things on the site we would go to new user and you could see in here that it says password will be automatically generated and set the user upon confirmation so that would be for a brand new user to the system I'll show you here in a second um, we will do something here um, for a user that is not in the system what happens so this email address isn't in the system. So you'll see here that this will create a new account for this person. But when I put in another email address, okay, we will see that it automatically generates. So um, if this is the case, then that means that this user, um, if you type an email address in and then it automatically generates a first and last name, that means this user is already in the system and they already have credentials to log into the website. They just need to be to be uh, to be added to your website as a user. Um, if you put an email in and nothing, and you, you have to fill out first and last name before adding a user, um, then that means that that user um, is new to the system and that they will automatically get an email sent to them um, with a uh, generated password, and then they'll be able to go into there and change that as they need be. So we'll just do a, 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 an account that's already in the system just to show kind of what that is. So you put add user. So you can see here that that is verified. So when we get out of this, when we reload, actually that did not do anything. So let's try to do that again. Let's see what happens. Okay. Add user. Okay, there we go. So now this user is added. This user is already um, in the system, so they are added and ready to go. So you have a few things here on the left side. Websites, Presto stats, RPI, and permissions. We'll go through each of these and kind of what each of them do and which uh, accesses you will do. So for websites, obviously you would want to give this user uh, access to your website. Um, that is where they will log in uh, to your website. They would go to this alfredstate.pressosports.com slash admin or just your URL slash admin to get to the area that they would need to log into to get to the administrative area and the back end of the website so we have to turn that on and then for presto stats you can see here that this client has bought presto stats for three sports so let's say this user is once once presto stats access we could turn that all of them on but let's say they only need access to one sport we could turn off two of them and apply it or they only need access to baseball and basketball we could apply it okay so you could just turn the, these on and off throughout the process for each user it's not a big deal obviously if you don't have access and don't see this when you log into there and you think that you've purchased presto stats just obviously contact the customer support team and they'll turn Turn this on for you and double check that you've even purchased it. Now when you go to RPI, um, you can see here the managing of the RPI access. So this is really important um, in the system itself. Uh, really kind of uh, the RPI 
uh, is really where everything for uh, all information for a team is going to live in, whether it be um, your schedule, um, statistics, rosters, all of that stuff. Really, the game day area as a whole, when you log into a site, it's not going to be turned on t- until a user has RPI access to a team. So we will give this user RPI access for this school This school here. We'll just do the, the Alfred State first. So let's scroll down to Alfred State right here. And we're going to do just turn it on for them. So you can see here that you could turn it on for all sports if we want to. But let's say we want to pick and choose which sports we want to give access to. Let's say we only want to give them access to men's basketball and baseball or just men's, women's basketball, for example. We can pick and choose which sports we want to give access to. Obviously, if this is for um, an administrator, higher administrator, or sports information director, they'll need access to everybody. But let's say if it is a coach and they're just going to be going in and updating stuff for their season, for their team, and that's it, you could just give them access to that team and, and that's it. But then as we go into here, you could see we could pick and choose all this. We could do all sports. We could take a few of these sports away if we don't have them. Um, so let's say fastball, um, if we don't have high hockey, if we don't have uh, men's volleyball, water polo, etc. We could go through here and add that. And other sports would be all of the other sports that you have. So let's apply that to this user. And you can see that they have access to those sports and they're ready to go. So right now this user has access to just Alfred State. So they would be able to go into the site and update everything for Alfred State's teams in those sports. But obviously a lot of you out there, um, you're coming up on uh, postseason basketball tournaments, preseason uh, tournaments for spring sports, baseball and softball. We're going to be hosting a lot of neutral site events. Um, so for that um, and really for, for this user, this is an NCAA user. Um, so let's say I needed access to X number of teams for an event. You still have to contact um, customer support to get that access. Um, that You cannot turn that on. You, you will not have access to every single team uh, in the country. Um, doing that at RPI thing. It'll only be the ones that are turned on for your individual account. So you have to access, contact customer support for that. Um, if you're in the NAI and you go to the NAI stats website as an administrator, you will, when you go to that at, at, at RPI, you will see all of the NAI members uh, in there. Um, but for pretty much everybody else um, that is going, going to use the system, uh, you have to get permission for those other teams through the customer support team. So uh, just do a ticket if you if that does happen and they will handle that as soon as they can. So for this client, one of the cool things that will happen, so let's say you obviously get to the point that you get confirmation that those teams have been added to your to your school's account. When we go to add RPI, you will see that there's a bunch of different schools in here for this account. When you click on add all, what will happen is that over over time, all of the RPIs outside of this one will be automatically added to the account. So if we refresh this, you may see right there that all the other RPIs are added. You could see that RPIs were turned on for just one sport for these, which again, the client care team and the customer support team would do. They would only turn it on for the sport that you would need access for, not all the sports for these other schools. So you could see that we have access to everybody in here. And let's say we don't want access to one. Let's say we don't want Penn State Barron's access. We could just hit the delete button and it deletes it. So that's also another thing to remember too, um, and cuts down on a support ticket is once the uh, game are over when you go in here you could delete all of these after the fact and remove them from the account and remove them from your account um, after a neutral site tournament completes you could just go in here and remove them and not have to worry about doing a support ticket to do that. So um, again, that's a very useful tool for you know adding and getting rid of RPIs. And you could do this obviously for all accounts. So let's say you have two people, you know, two two separate people doing uh, stats for games at a neutral site, and you're all over the place. You could add different RPIs for them, and that's even for stat access too. You could add that as well, and they would be able to do that through their own accounts. The last thing we'll show is permissions. So this client has Presto Shots. Um, so you could see in here, when we turn on Presto Shots in here, what will ha- essentially happen is in this account, this user can access Presto Shots from this area right here. Um, so they would be able to click on this and then uh, with their sign in, they would be able to, to have that kind of Presto centric um, area uh, in there to go in and use Presto, Presto Shots um, from the actual um, 
apparatus and the actual CMS itself, um, the, instead of logging in uh, through through ScoreShot uh, the other way. So just something you know that makes it a little bit easier that they could just go through the CMS to get to Presto Shots to do what they need with that. Turning that on, that Presto Shots button then will show uh, on the top there for that user. So that's pretty much it. Um, we go to users. You can see here that we can remove users as well. So I'm going to remove uh, this user from this account because we're not going to use that anymore. So you can see that it'll take a while to reload. One thing to remember is that that user that we added, that was a regular user for the account. Um, so as an administrator, you could get rid of regular users. What you cannot do is get rid of other administrators. Um, so essentially, if let's say you have someone that's assigned as an administrator on your account and they they leave your institution and, and move on um, you have to contact the customer support team to have them take that person off of being an administrator and then once that is done and you get confirmation of that then you could go into the user manager and delete them from your account so again when it comes to administrative access and assigning administrators that's something that the cut the customer support team will have to do for you so again that's the user manager and really everything that you could do within this user management system um, as an administrator Administrator, you could do many, many things within there, but as we said at the top, um, you cannot really do a lot and not to really access this area unless you are an administrator and to do that you have to contact the customer support team to uh, have that occur. So well, hopefully this video will help you out and good luck the rest of the season.